Hello. Hello. Hi guys, how are you doing? <clears throat> Good, how are you doing? I'm all right. Is it raining? It's about to start to rain here. Oh, really? Yeah, I was yeah. just with a student right now and it was raining. It was pouring, oh my gosh. There were thunders. Yeah. It was not raining, it was pouring. Sorry? Nothing. Ah, exactly. <clears throat> so where you are, it's not raining? Well, right in here, it's about to start raining. Where you are, Fatima and Karen? I'm in Lourdes and it's already raining. Yes, right? Let me see. A lot of thunders. Huh. Yeah, I can't remember where he lives. Santa Tecla, maybe? Maybe that's why I can't remember. Karen, how are you doing? Good, how are you? It's raining today. You see, it's already raining as well. Well, I hope you, have, you don't have internet connection problem. We'll see how it goes. Welcome, thank you for being in class. Okay, we're gonna begin. Let me see. Uh, I need somebody to read the objective, please. And that's gonna be Fatima. By the end of this class, participants will understand use and practice the present perfect continuous. Great. Let's do this. Please pay attention. And take notes if you can. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of this tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? All right, um, do you all remember the structure or should we review it? Is the structure clear? Yeah. Karen, is it clear for you? Yeah. It is? So what we're going to do is we're going to practice some more questions like we practiced last week. 
All right, uh, please try to use present perfect continuous for this. And then, um, yeah, I sent you a second image. Not the first one, because that one we worked on on Thursday. No, yesterday. Oh my gosh. We're just, we are just three, right? Yes, JC is going to connect later. So, well, the Thank three of you are going to practice that. Sorry? No. Okay, let's discuss those questions. The first one says, are there any blogs that you have been following? Mm -hmm. And anybody can answer. Oh, no, I haven't. You're not following any blogs? I haven't been following any. And what's something you have been following? On I follow. YouTube. I've been following uh, since it, since January, I think. January. Uh, uh January and Pinterest. Mm -hmm. The work. No, how this. How do you have to dress at office, for office? <laughs> mm, that's a good answer. Yes, how so to dress? It, it gives me some ideas. Great. How to dress for the office? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, who else? Hi, Miguel Angel. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, what else have you been following? Noe and, and Miguel Angel and JC are missing, right? And Katia. Katia, Miguel Angel, JC. Okay, four people are missing. I'll see. Okay, we're going to discuss those questions in pairs now that we have Miguel and I'll be monitoring you by taking turns. All right. Let me see. Miguel, you're going to be with Karen and Fatima and Robert, okay? After the invitation and discuss. Here we go. Hi, are you practicing? Yes, I, uh, we are in the first one. Are there any blogs that you have been following? Oh, okay, great. I'll be listening. Blows. It can be anything else. Is there anything you are you have been following? I've been following the Secretaría Nacional de Presidencia. Really? What for? Uh, okay. Uh, to know about the COVID nineteen. Oh, yeah, in my case, I've been following Nayib Bukele, so only the things he says, I, I read. Other than that, nothing. Uh, they, they, Facebook, they, they uh, put me yeah. as a fan destacado. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you really follow that page. 
Yes. Great. What about you, Miguel? Yes, I I have been follow blogs the yeah, COVID following following COVID page in the internet. Okay, great. That works. Very good. Next question. Yes, only. On Roberto. Go ahead, continue. Um what have you been doing with your free time recently? Well, well, most of my free time, I am sleeping or playing in my playing with my phone. Because playing games with my been, phone. Most of my free time, I have been sleeping or playing on the phone. Oh yes, most most of my free time, I have been sleeping and playing or playing in my phone yes who can relate to that <laughs> so yeah we do that <laughs> not I'm really not a fan. i'm not a fan of, of games i i like but we're when, I was phone child, when i was child i looked my my brothers play mario mm -hmm. so i like I, I like it but I I I don't like um no I didn't participate just look I just look them and in my free time I have been uh, looking movies have I have been, been or seen watching a watching I have been watching movies I look for the top 10 movies in netflix and i pick someone and, and i have i picked one seen, i or i picked one some. some some of them and i have been watching this it what movie did you watch uh, i watch i watch ones that name is calibre uh -huh. uh, other than it is the ascending and never heard of them yeah uh, me neither calibre, calibre it's uh i don't know thriller maybe mm -hmm. it's about two friends that go to to a forest to hunting for hunting okay and unfortunately <laughs> one of and an action because because i needed to upgrade my my curriculum you you work in in any position in what position in uh at I know. Uh, I no, I'm working at uh, PBS El Salvador. I'm a technician. I'm repair and, and mm -hmm. setting a printer, copier machine, and scanner and mm -hmm. faxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do do you need do you need to to have an 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 advanced English? Yes, yes. For your position. Yes, for me. Because of the instruction of the machines, or or why? Because you have clients who who speak English, or or, or, or what is that? Uh, because my my training is full English and um, uh, certificate and uh, question uh, is only English, only mm. English, because I need uh, to learn English. Mm -hmm. mm, that's why you need to learn English, you're saying. But 
for my my work. This yes. and this I need a English. Hey, Miguel, I don't often see you in class. Do you sometimes have issues connecting? Excuse me. I I don't often I don't often see you in class. Do you sometimes have issues connecting? Can you hear me, Karen? Yes, I hear you. I don't understand your question, teacher. Ah, okay. No, I'm saying I don't frequently see you in class. Oh, um, okay. my frequency is affected because my work is a necessary um, go, going to place to visit my my client or customer because uh, uh, is a needed uh, stay in in the place that the the customer. Ah, uh, so you have to to commute a lot. Yeah. Okay. What question are you discussing, or did you finish? Mm. Uh, we are in the. Well, last one. Have you been getting enough exercise? Said to me. Uh, that's why. Yeah. So let's see what happens tonight. Yeah. He he got to pick me up. Did you so, finish the question? Well, yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Really hard. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna go back then. Cancel breakout rooms closed. Let's go back. Okay, we're going to do an exercise related to this. Related to um Present perfect continuous. That rain. Hold on. I think it's you, Roberto. So I'm gonna mute you for a while, okay? It's very loud. <laughs> Everybody's muted. <laughs> yeah, it is there. All right. Let me see. Let's do this exercise together. If everybody is on the platform. Go with me, please. Let's go to section. Not this uh, one. Two point. I have a question. Uh, when? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, how do you say cadena nacional? Um, that is a um. I have heard national broadcast, but I don't know. Excuse me, national. Uh -huh, I was gonna say broadcast, but I was thinking of the other one. We're gonna go on national. Uh, national broadcast. It sounds right. I'm gonna make sure there's another national thing. No, no, no. It's definitely broadcast. That I'm sure, but national, I'm not sure. Let me see. National broadcast. Mm -mm. Maybe it's like national live broadcast. National live broadcast, the broadcast center. Yeah, because you know what? I'm not finding anything when I hold it. Where did you hear that, Fatima? I can hear you. You're muted. In the class of intermediate two. Ah, okay, yeah, I think it's it, national, national, no, national, no, nationally. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's keep national broadcast. That's right. Not channel, not chain, no, not network. If you want to add the word live, you can broadcast national. Yeah, national broadcast. Let's see you like that. 
Okay. Um, great. We're going to do this exercise. Can you read the objective, please? Got it? Uh, by, by the end of this class, participants will understand, use, and practice the present perfect continuous. Okay, great. Mm -mm. It's not this one. It's this. This exercise. We're going to do it together. Number one, Roberto. What have been No, what have you been doing lately? This is incorrect, isn't it? You should say have and here been doing. So have is not here. Can we select two have been doing? Maybe we're going to try that. Okay, next one, Miguel. Have been spending. Have been spending like this. El pan. Oh my gosh. I want some bread. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I need sweet bread. <laughs> All right. Hey, eh, Fatima. Eh, have. You've been working part time this year. Have you been working part time this year? Great. Next one. Got it. Yes, I have. I've been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Okay. Hmm. I, I got a question in this mm -hmm. you say yes i have but then you say i've been making no you, the i've you still have to say have again uh-huh so i okay. think i was about to say we're probably gonna recycle this have like yes i have i have been making maybe okay. same one yeah no but you have to use it again i've been making it incorrect all right next one uh, roberto Ah, okay. Fatima? How have you... How have you feeling recently? Recently? Mm, how? How have, have you feeling... Have, sorry, sorry. How have you been feeling recently? There you go. You got it. Great. Got it. Great. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, sleep and I haven't been eating as much since I started my, my, my what? My, my diet. Okay. Yes, you can, you can click on the, my diet. on the video, yes, and drag it so it doesn't get on your way. All right, next one, Miguel. Have you been getting a nose exercise lately? Lately? Lately. Okay. So have you been getting exercise lately? Great. Fatima? No, I haven't. I I've been studying a lot for my for a big sum. No, I haven't. I have been studying. Okay, let's see if this is right. I didn't know it was most wet. What? You miss? Uh, yeah, you miss the one. No, I haven't. In here, did I miss something here? Have you been ah getting? Now it should be right. Ah, still a mistake. Hmm. 
Yes, I have. I drink a coffee time I have been making. Yes, I have been making. I tried this and I, I think there is a mistake because if you pick being make, is it is said that that is correct. Ah, uh, so the correct answer according to the platform is been made. Yeah. Okay, well, that is incorrect, guys, you know, but... The uh -huh, platform it's incorrect, is incorrect, right? Yeah, it is incorrect. No, the, the platform has a lot of mistakes, so if you ever have issues... Anyway, we do this in class. Fatima, you're always in class, Karen and Roberto, so we won't have any issues. But in case you miss a class and you're trying to do an exercise and it shows you it's incorrect, I have access to the answers. I have access to the wrong answers. In case it's wrong on the platform and that you are right, I know what that mistake is so I can tell you the wrong answer so that it, it takes it as right. Okay, okay now we're going to do some reading. Uh, Roberto, can you hear us now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. If you could, like, I don't think you can get away from the noise. It's not that noisy, though. So, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> wow, that rain. All right, listen. Here's what we're going to do. Yes, reading. We're going to read out loud. It takes turns into each paragraph. Roberto, what I'm going to ask you to do is to read this paragraph in, in pairs, okay? So the other person will read two. You're going to read only one. And keep your microphone muted until you have to read the paragraph, all right? That's what we're going to do so that noise doesn't affect us much. We're going to work in pairs. Let me see this time. It will be Karen and Roberto, all right? Fatima and Miguel. Fatima and... Miguel, Karen, and Roberto. Let's go to this section, read out loud. Once you finish reading, answer the question. Is that clear? Crystal clear? Yes. Yes, very good, let's go. Yes. Child prodigy. Five prodigies. Look at the picture and skim the article. Which child do you think is an artist, a musician, a college graduate? Okay. Other musicians have described Sarah Change as the most wonderful, perfect violinist they've ever heard. What makes this phrase especially surprising is Sarah's age. 
She's only in her 20s. And people have been describing her this way since she was a child. On Sarah's fourth birthday, her father gave, 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 gave her. Yes, and say her, since, Miguel, since. Excuse me? Since. Her uh, violin. By age five. Reading. Ah, yes. Okay. How are you doing, guys? Can you communicate well? <laughs> no, because I don't have a dummy call. I couldn't, I couldn't, and I couldn't, I entered to a platform. I don't know why, because of my internet, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um. Where, where can I where can I read the article? Ah, on the platform, it's section. Um, let me see. Hold on, hold on. For WhatsApp, let me try. Ah, yes, but it's section two. I'm here, thank you. Yes, ah, uh, Roberto, send send me the article in uh, in WhatsApp. Thank you, Robert. Ask me the question, right? Uh, the, the middle one. And the rest of the time, yeah. It's not so noisy, Roberto, so I think you can have the microphone open. Okay. But mute it whenever you can, because yeah, sometimes it gets really loud. Okay, Karen and Roberto, let's read. You need to read out loud. Please, take turns. One paragraph each. Okay. Chiquita was two. Her parents gave her some crayons and coloring books. Alexandra was soon working in ink. Watercolors. And by the time she was seven, oil paints are eight. Alexandra had her first art exhibit. Now a young adult, Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her paintings are often compared Compared to those, compared to those of Picasso and other those. great artists. Those. Those. Of, those. Yes. Of Picasso and other great artists. Okay. They have sold for as much as eight hundred thousand. 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 Thank you. She has been on TV many times, and several books of her painting have been published. Have been published. Have been published. 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 Yes. Now that you've finished reading, uh, do you have a, please write new vocabulary, and when we go back to the main session, ask me new vocabulary, okay? But right now, let's do an exercise. Are you both on the platform? Yeah. Okay. Let's well, I have a question. In a uh, 14, he received a master's degree. Now, in his latest team, he is teaching and working on his PhD. Wow. Michael Kerry. Uh, when, when Alexander. Sandra Nechita was two, her parents had some crayons and coloring books. Alexandra was soon working in inks, watercolors, and by the time she was uh, seven, oil paints. At eight, Ale Alexandra had her first art exhibit. exhibit. Now, a donable Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. 
Their paintings are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. They, they have for us for as much as uh, eight, 80,000. 80, she has been on TV many times and several books of her paintings have been published. Great, now let's answer the questions. What are the questions? I think Roberto has them, right? Uh, Roberto, are you able to share yes. the screen? Ah, ah. Oh, she has them as well, so. Yes, yes. Let's do them quickly, because the other team is about to finish. Okay. From one over since. What does mean wrong ever since? Uh, where is it on the questions or the article? The article and the second paragraph said it's been proving them wrong ever since. Then the word wrong. Can you point at it? Are you the one sharing the screen? You are viewing Fatima's screen. Yeah. He's been He's proving them wrong. Ah, proving them wrong. Ever since. Okay, okay. You have, for example, Fatima, you say, prove me, prove them right. It's like, eh, darles la razón. If prove them wrong is the opposite. O sea, les ha demostrado que estaban equivocados. That's what it means. And why they, they use ever since. Ah, desde entonces, ever since. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ever since means desde entonces. Right. Did you answer all the questions? No, <laughs> we are finding a new vocabulary, the new vocabulary. Oh, okay, great. Yes, because the other group hasn't finished yet, so that gives them time. They're working on the questions. So you're done? Yes. We did it. Great. I must think. Can you tell me if there's new vocabulary? No. No new vocabulary? No. Okay. We're going to go back then and answer the questions together. Okay, here we are. Um, help me answer the questions related with the article. Oh my gosh, I love the article. Okay, what's the first question? Here it is. First question says, how do other musicians describe Sarah? Sarah. How do they describe them, guys? The most perfect. Describe Sarah. Mm -hmm. Dying, I don't hear you. Most wonderful. Wonderful. Now I hear you. Guys. So, uh, wonderful and perfect, like that? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. we're going to try that. Who gave Sarah her first violin? Her father. Her father. We're gonna write her father and see if that works. Okay, number three, Miguel. Roberto. Julia, school. Where did Sarah go to school? What did you say? Ju Ju Julia, school or music? Like this. Yeah. Double F. Julia, oh, yeah. J U L L I A R D. Yeah. J U L L A R D, like that. I 
No, I. I, I, A, R, D, apostrophe, F. Yes. Okay. We're going to try that. Number four. Fatima? What did doctors tell Michael's parents? Uh, the, um, they said that he have been learning difficulties. He had, I, I think I... He might have. Difficult. It might, he might have learning difficulties. Learning difficulties. Okay, I'm going to try that. Maybe that's not like the right answer in the platform, but we'll see. Number five, uh, Karen? Uh, with, uh, with Picasso? How do you spell Picasso? Her paintings are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. Double C, double S? Yes, double S. Mm, let me see. I am afraid this is going to be wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you the answer. Picasso is only yeah, with... Here are the answers. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, the you cannot see that, but yes, the most wonderful, wonderful Roma, perfect violinist. Okay, so take notes because, or, or did you get the right answer? If you did, well, okay, number two is her father. Okay, then Juilliard School of Music. It has to be like uppercase. Oh, no, S. Twice. No, S, uh huh, uppercase. And it's Juilliard. I didn't see that. Okay. Then he might have learning difficulties. That was right. That was great. Learning difficulties. Yes. I'm going to send you this to the group in case, or you should do it right now to, to be able to move on. But in case other people need this, what section is this? The. Um, let me see. 2.9. 2.9. 2.10. 2.10. 2.10. All right. I sent the it. last one. The answer oh of the God. last one. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. That one too. Gas. Because. Uh, it's only with one C. Picasso. Oh. Picasso. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, but that One they C. should know. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Picasso. So. Okay, I sent it to a group in case you want to do that. Very good. Okay. And then we will practice a conversation. Hold on. Section three, we're moving very fast. We're gonna have to do some more practice. Read the objective, please, Miguel Angel. In this class, participants will listen to a conversation where, where participles as adjective are used in context. Are used in context. Context. Yes. All right. Let's listen. Do you know what participle adjectives are? No, I don't remember. Okay, we'll see. Can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about... Can me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. You want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, 
What do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah. Okay, we're going to practice this, uh, this dialogue. And please identify the adjectives in the dialogue. So identify the adjectives and then practice the dialogue. Ready? Find the adjectives, Ready. practice the dialogue. Now work with different people. Let me see. Roberto, you're going to work with Miguel this time. Change with Karen. Karen and Fatima together. Here we go. Let's start practicing. Have that data up. You have the dialogue again. Uh, okay, I'm sending it to the group because we need to do this fast. It's almost time to finish. Roberto, you're going to be Roger, okay? Go ahead. Okay. I'm Roger, and you're Carl. Okay. What? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's play? How about the new James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? Not enough. All his books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. So we have to okay. find adjectives. Uh huh. Let's see how about the new yeah. Exciting. Uh huh. Boring. Yeah. Exciting, boy. Yeah. Fascinating. Exciting. Boring. How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based of a Stephen King new movie? Based novel? on. Say based on. Base. Based on. Ah, oh, based on a Stephen King new novel. I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, I do like horror. Movies. Well, what do you want to see? I don't know. Wait, no, wait. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful woman and actress. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're finished. We're finished. Are we supposed to find the adjective? Welcome back. I think I finished. Now we're going to find, <laughs> tell me what adjectives did you find?
everybody on with their microphone. Movie. Movie's not an adjective. Sorry. New. Let's see. New. New is an adjective. Yes. Let's go in order. New. The third one. What else? Exciting. Yes. Boring. Boring. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Yes, fascinating. Great. What else? Yeah. Horror. Interested. Mm. Ah. Wonderful. Interested is an adjective. Wonderful. Mm. Interested. Bye. Good and, and good. Good. Correct. Wonderful. Yes. An adjective. Yes, interested is an adjective. No, it's not a verb in this. I am not. It's not a verb. It's a particle adjective. Okay, this is what I'm gonna tell you as an intro. All right. Uh, some adjectives can end in ing or ed, and ed mm. doesn't mean fast. So you can say you can say interesting or you can say interested. You can say boring or you can say bored. Okay. Bored. You can say tiring or you can say tired. This word is tired. And you should use it. Tiring exists. Okay. We're going to see the difference tomorrow. And we're going to practice tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Any questions? Oh, by the way, did you have any vocabulary you wanted to check on from the last reading? Fatima? I know you wrote some. No, I, I asked for the one um, ever since. Ever since. Oh, okay. What's new for me? Mm -hmm. Very good. So we'll learn the difference and practice it tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you for being in class. I hope you have a beautiful night. Okay. Thanks. You See too. You. Thank Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.